Howdy there once again, YouTube. I know I just put out a video, guys, but you really need to see this. You really, really, okay, I'm really excited that I got to capture this. This is one of the most amazing seismic swarms I personally have ever seen. And I've seen some pretty amazing swarms. Look at this. Okay, let's go to terrain. Let's zoom all the way out, shall we? Okay. Look right here. It says Wyoming, right? Here's Wyoming. Here's Yellowstone up here. Few earthquakes reported. I noticed there's an earthquake swarm reported down here. I thought that was an extremely strange spot for an earthquake swarm. So I decided to analyze it. Now, six of them have been reported. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of them have been reported, and so far, it is a rapid-fire swarm with many more than six earthquakes occurring, guys. It is just like the rapid-fire swarms that we see in and around West Thumb and Yellowstone Lakes, except for the fact that this one was basically only low-frequency earthquakes. And I'm sorry to say it, but harmonic-like tremor and earthquake events. I am not joking, guys. I'm not joking. So far reported, we have a 1.6 negative 1.5 kilometers to 3.0, negative 3.3, so right near the surface, guys. This stuff is occurring right near the surface. Then we have a 2.6 at negative 1.5, 2.9, negative 3.1, 2.8, negative 3.1, 2.0, negative 0 0.2. Extremely shallow, but check out what these events are. These are not explosions. These are real seismic events, and they are crazy. Guys, check this out. So, we found out it's near Green River, Wyoming. That's in southwestern Wyoming, which is an extremely strange location for any earthquake swarm to take place. Now, okay, so why don't we go to the seismic program swarm? Here we are right here. Let me zoom in real quick. I would like you guys to know that I am doing a blog post on this under the Seismic Events drop-down menu. Click Quake Swarms. I do not have it up yet, but I am doing a blog post on that section of my website about this, detailing many of the events that transpired during this earthquake swarm in southwestern Wyoming, which is an extremely strange location. Here it is, right here. Doesn't it look very similar to the rapid-fire earthquake swarms that occur in and around West Thumb Lake and Yellowstone Lake at Yellowstone? Well, this didn't even occur anywhere near Yellowstone. But could there still be a connection? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that yet. Check this out. This, These are some of the craziest low-frequency earthquakes I have ever seen. We have GAWY and the UU Network, which was the closest station to these events. And again, keep an eye on the Quake Swarms page in the Seismic Events drop-down menu on my website. I will detail this swarm much greater in much more detail on that blog post I'm uploading tonight. So, check this out. Persistent rescales off, 95 overlap. I do not have a filter set yet. Alright, here's the first event. Looks extremely strange. Look at the almost nearly perfect waveform patterns. That's nothing. Check this out right here. Look at that earthquake. Look at that. Going to about 137,000 amplitude count. And I believe this was the 3.0 they, uh, they judged to be a 3.0. Look at this. I am freaking out. Do you see this earthquake? Look at the dominant low frequencies. Of course, strong, very, very, very strong low frequency earthquakes do have weaker frequencies going up to about 20 hertz or so. But this definitely is a low frequency event. And not just this one, sw uh, this one event, guys. Look at the entire swarm. Look at this. Do you see that? I have never seen an earthquake swarm like this in my life. And it's not just associated with the events themselves. It's some type of background tremor occurring in the mix. There it is, guys. Look at this. I'm zooming in once again. Let's go through the waveforms, shall we? Look at those dominant low frequencies. Look at that. And these are not explosions, guys. I have no clue what the heck this could be caused by. Down there, this is not tectonic. Of course, tectonic events can happen in southwestern Wyoming. Look at this right here. Look at that. Do you see those perfect waveform spacings? And this is an actual event. These are very, very real, with some of them even being reported around 2.6 to 3.0 magnitude at a very, very shallow depth. I do not believe they have hydrothermal fluids in that area. This is not hydrothermal. This is not tectonic. So if it's not tectonic and it's not hydrothermal, what's left? Magma, right? But then again, where the heck would the magma come from? 
I have no idea. But these aren't explosions either, guys. We got clear PNS wave arrivals on these earthquakes. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to accurately locate them and call them earthquakes. Again, I have never seen an earthquake swarm like this transpire anywhere, ever, like this. What are these? Do you see this? Some of these are even being reported. Okay, so let's go take a look just real quick. Okay, so where was it? 1959.07 was a 2.6 and negative 1.5 kilometers in depth. 1959.07, let's go up. 1959.09, remember the station is a few miles away, so it would take only a few seconds for it to arrive. But we see right here, this is the 2.6. Let's go back just one last time. And again, 2.6 at 1959.07 UTC on the 22nd. And here we have on the 22nd, 1959.09 UTC. Look at this. This is the 2.6 that they reported. Look at the spectrogram, guys. Look at that. What the heck is this? All right, sorry, guys. I'm freaking out because this is pretty crazy. I am never, again, never. And look, there is some type of both with some higher frequencies right here and right here, with some lower frequencies here and here as well, with a lot of the waveform spacings being almost perfectly regular, meaning they are harmonic-like earthquakes. Now let's go forward. This isn't the end of it, guys. There's more. More stronger, low-frequency earthquakes with what appears to be some type of resonance. Look at that, guys. What the heck? This is crazy. I, when I first saw this, I look at this. What the heck are these? Look at that. That doesn't even make sense. And they all show on many, many surrounding stations, which you will see in the blog post I'm uploading tonight in Quake Swarms page under the Seismic Events drop down menu on my website. So go bookmark that now if you wish to keep an eye on it. Look at this earthquake. Do you see this? This isn't surface noise. This isn't explosions. These aren't quarry blasts. This is not tectonic activity, obviously. And I am I highly doubt this is hydrothermal activity. I highly doubt it. They, it would not show this way. The only thing I can think of in my mind is some type of quick magma intrusion, I think. However, I am unsure in what way it would intrude to make it look like this. But I definitely believe Magma had a hand in creating these. Look at the almost nearly perfect waveform spacings getting smaller and smaller. My God, do you see this? And look at this earthquake, 1E5, 2008-09. Let's go to 2008-08. This will report it to be in... So we have USGS even themselves confirming that these are real seismic events. 2.8, guys. Magnitude 2.8 was this one right here. What the heck is going on in southwestern Wyoming? Even Utah lately has had some very strange swarming lately, but nothing like this. These are low-frequency earthquakes. These are legitimate low-frequency earthquakes. Of course, there are some higher frequencies going to mid to high ranges, but the dominant, the main power is in the low-frequency band, especially these. Look at this right here. This is eerily reminiscent of the possible magmatic resonance that was spotted on December 29th, 2008, during the 2008-2009 Yellowstone Lake Dyke intrusion. Also, under the Seismic Events drop-down menu, you have a page about that intrusion event as well. But going forward, we see more of these strange harmonic-like low-frequency earthquakes, with a little bit of higher frequencies at the beginning, and then resonance at the end, showing something possibly broke apart the rock, but a very viscous, very thick fluid was breaking apart that rock, guys. That is what I believe. That is what I see when I'm looking at this. And so far, it has calmed down a little bit. There are more events right here. There's another event right here and here as well. But just to get a good look, I'm going to add a 0.7 hertz high-pass filter to see what these look like with the extreme low frequencies taken out. They still have dominant low frequencies. Okay, so what in the hell is going on? Do you see this? We have a rapid fire swarm in southwestern Wyoming with many earthquakes between 2.6 to 3.0. Many earthquakes have not been reported. I will look at the total earthquake count in that blog post I'm uploading tonight, but just know southwestern Wyoming is seeing a possibly a magmatic swarm, guys. Oh my goodness. 
My god, guys. I, yeah, this is one of the craziest earthquake storms I have ever seen. Not in regards to magnitudes and not in regards to quantity, but in regards to characteristics. This is is crazy sorry to say it again guys but i'm pretty excited about this i i like finding strange seismic events that make no sense and especially these were even reported by usgs so we know they are real this is crazy look at these look at this and this is from the closest seismic station which is only a few miles away and these events were very shallow yeah oh my god look at this right here what the heck? That is so strange, guys. And of the, as of the most recent data stream, we have one last event right down here. And then let's go forward and we do see a not... Oh, 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 oh. There's a little, little tiny guy right there. Let's keep going forward. Keep going forward. As of the most recent data stream, which is as of 3.14 p.m. Pacific Time, February 22nd, 2019, it is not occurring anymore. But if something this strong and this indicative of some type of magmatic activity just below the surface, I don't know. Because this is not hydrothermal, guys. This is not hydrothermal. The frequencies are too low, and it does appear there is some type of very thick fluid, like magma, something very viscous, that is causing some resonance along with breaking away the rock. But how could it get that shallow without a previous earthquake swarm at a at a lower depth? You know what I mean? So where is this magma coming from if this is magma? Is it coming from possibly the Yellowstone Magma Reservoir? I don't know. But shouldn't we have seen an earthquake swarm leading from Yellowstone to this area? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But I will analyze this much greater in my blog post tonight. Sorry to repeat myself again. If you, if you want to monitor for my blog post detailing this greatly, go to my website. Go to the Seismic Events drop-down menu and click Quake Swarms and bookmark that page and I will have that up soon. Again, I got some more videos coming out, a lot more content, and we will analyze this greatly tonight. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you look forward to seeing my blog post tonight. See you later, guys.